let us consider a case in which the receptor present on the human cell with no infection of human papilloma virus or HPV binds to a growth factor. This binding of growth factor stimulates the CDK cyclin. The stimulated CDK cyclin causes the phosphorylation of a tumor suppressor protein called as retinoblastoma protein or PRB. As a result, the PRB becomes inactive. This inactive PRB allows the cell to proceed from G1 to S phase of cell cycle. As a result, the cell cannot proliferate. But when the infection occurs, the HPV produces two proteins like E6 and E7 in the host cell. The E7 binds to the active PRB or unphosphorylated PRB. This binding causes the PRB to be degraded. In the absence of PRB, the cell cannot progress from G1 to S phase of the cell cycle. As a result, the cell proliferation occurs and it leads to tumor formation. In other case, without the infection of HPV, if some radiations or chemicals causes the DNA damage, then the DNA damage activates another tumor suppressor protein in the cell called as P53. This P53 activates apoptosis. As a result, the cell with damaged DNA undergoes programmed cell death. But when the HPV infection occurs, the viral protein E6 binds to the host cell P53. This binding causes the degradation of P53. In such condition, if any radiation or chemical causes the DNA damage, then no P53 is available to activate the apoptosis. So the apoptosis becomes inactivated. As a result, the cell with damaged DNA survives and begins to proliferate and finally forms a tumor. Please like, subscribe and share.